Phillies. We start in the top of the first inning. Wally Whitehurst, the starting pitcher for the Mets, strikes out John Crook of the Philadelphia Phillies to end the top of the first inning. Crook did not like the call, so he gets into an argument with home plate umpire Charlie Relaford. Relaford throws Crook out of the game for arguing balls and strikes, and here comes Jim Fregosi, the manager of the Phillies. And there goes Jim Fregosi from the game. Charlie Relaford, the home plate umpire, throwing out Jim Fregosi and John Crook in the top of the first inning. And there's Eric Gregg trying to restore peace. This game was a pitcher's duel between... Boom, swing and a miss. Well, he foul tipped it right there, but he's mad about the... the pitch before that that was called a strike and he has a couple words for West who has a couple of words for uh, for John Crook and that is you're out of here. Well first the bat goes. That's a hundred the helmet. Bucks. There's the equipment fine and now Joe West keeps looking. He's going to write down the fines but he's still looking and listening hoping Crook will say something. He does and he throws him out. Major League leading 27th Orioles up one top of nine. Doug Jones on to close the door. John Cruck, I'm not an athlete, ma'am. I'm just a big bearded guy with an attitude. O's are a winner. Four to one with Todd. In the 10th, Dave Hollins gets hit for the second time in this game by Bob Scanlon. Let's get ready to rumble. Not much of a fight looked like a block thrown by Hollins, who leads the National League. He's been hit 18 times. All the scuffling and the... Uh, Proverbial ejections. Jim Lefever unhappy because Mariano Duncan. Look out, Mariano. Castillo comes high with it. Castillo tossed right away. The fight follows. Bench is clear. Everyone looking for that new call up from AAA. You know, the 112 pound backup second baseman. The umpires decide to toss Duncan as season. Duncan up again. This pitch a little too inside for his liking. Duncan, Brad Osmus, the catcher, discuss it. And Philly bench coach John Vukovic jumps in. And then everybody goes bananas. Four players ejected. The Fanatic even wanted a piece. But El Pedro. El Imperfecto, high and tight, and he nails Sanders this time, and he charges. We got a bench clearing brawl. That was an 0 2 pitch with a guy going for a perfect game. The perfect game is gone, so is Sanders. Martinez says, No way I was trying to hit him. He started, and Jose Offerman, did he get started? First batter of the game, he looks at strike three, and perhaps Jose didn't fare too well in the card games during the delay because he has words with Al Clark and gets the gate. Kerwin Danley, the umpire, making the decision at second base as Jose Offerman thrown out of the game after the inning ended. Offerman got in a little verbal contest with him, and as always, the player loses. But this is what he's arguing about. Runner going to second base. Ferris here, not block, shuffles the ball. Bang, bang play. I mean, bang, bang. It looks like he's coming up there before the ball settles in Garcia Parra's glove. I mean, Jeter's glove. Here you see it again. On the bag, ball still out of there. Dini. Breaking ball, a backdoor breaking ball. He didn't like the call. He said something to Eric Gregg as he walks by, and that's the second out of the inning. Eric Gregg, the home plate umpire, had a discussion between the innings with Mickey Morandini. Remember, Mickey not excited at all about the third strike call. As Mickey was going out to his position at second base, had something to say to Eric Gregg, and didn't take very long at all. Eric gave Mickey the heave ho. Terry Francona out there immediately to try to get Morandini out of there, but Eric Gregg already has ejected Mickey Morandini from the ball game for arguing that called third strike. Top of the six, still plenty of baseball left. Charlie Hayes checks his swing. First base on John McSherry says no swing. Todd Huntley starts arguing with home plate up. Ed Montague throws Huntley out and then watch Ed Montague, a regular National League ump for 20 years, doesn't mess around, starts bumping Huntley. It's Womack Paul running back. Kevin Young has the ball now. It's caught in a rundown. Now Kevin Young, Young throws fires home. And the and Jason Kendall tags Kendall. on Gary Sheffield. That Kendall then has words with Sheffield and then well, they kept it together. Look out. Mike Williams finally a brawl breaks out. There's a brawl. Sheffield and Kendall going at it. Both benches will empty. Sheffield would leave with a bloody face. Both players would leave. They were ejected. 
5 for 12 with 23 RBI this year with the bases loaded. Cubs lead 5 zip after a 5 run second. Now top 4. Tavares pitching to Jason Kendall. Kendall grounds to Ricky Gutierrez. Thought he made it to first, but umpire Jim Wolf disagrees. Kendall not happy. Charges after the ump. And, well, that's a no-no in the major leagues. Kendall would be tossed from the game. It would read 0 for 2 in his box score. Let's take another look at it. It is a close play, and it appears that Kendall may have ooh, beaten that throw. I always thought the tie went to the runner on that one. The Pirates frustrated. Two, bottom nine. Pirates down 9-8. Alphonse sick is 2-1. Pitch is called a strike. Kendall has a beef. Next pitch, he grounds out to Antonio Alfonseca. Kendall has more to say to Matt Hallowell as he goes to the dugout, and this time he says you can keep on going right on down the gate and go sit and start eating. And, and Kendall's cussing, and then Lloyd McClendon is clapping, and then he too gets to go early. Cards, three solo homers. Top of the sixth, 3-1. Royce Clayton against Park. Park gets the strike. Clayton disagrees with ump Randy Marsh, and it, this won't take long. Royce, you're out of here. Ground out. Slumping Sean Casey strikes out looking, lets his frustrations out on the umpire, and he gets tossed in the fifth inning. Also, Mike Van Fleet tosses third base coach Ron Oster, who goes out. Two on, two outs. JP up again. And Lima not happy. The heat up. And in, hitting Peyton. Peyton's furious. We know the history. Brad Osmus holding Peyton back. Benches would clear. There'd be another delay. Take another look. Hits Peyton in the left elbow. Peyton grabbing Osmus by the neck. He doesn't want to deal with some catcher. Both Peyton and Lima jet. Marlins had a 4-0 lead in the third, and Gonzalez appeared to be trying to get out of the way, and home plate umpire Andy Fletcher called that a foul ball. Jack McKeon displeased, and you see the scar left by the ball there on Gonzalez's hands, and McKeon went back to the dugout, and he was quite upset that he didn't get the hit by pitch. It appeared not to be accurately called by Andy Fletcher. And then when Gonzalez went down swinging, he gave Fletcher a piece of his mind. Fletcher tossed him right out of the game. A curveball one, make it nothing in two. Now he'll be mad at the umpire. And he's throwing him out of the game. I mean, you could see that coming. You could see that he was going to get ticked off. And Dusty's going to be too late on this one. Nine, you know Randy Myers coming on in this situation. Scott Service calls for it low and away. That is right where Myers puts it. Jordan thinks he checked his swing. The ump says no. And then Jordan says the magic word and pays 500 bucks. And the Cubs win it. Tonight. Top of the fifth, Sean Estes gets Brian Jordan looking. Jordan takes umbrage with Bruce Dreckman's call and lets him know about it right there. And when he comes out on the field, and then Dreckman tells Jordan, you. Get out of here!